today is going to be my February whoops and I have one more. Now I have to admit straight up from the bat I have been trying to couple these products only during this week but they were that good that I just had to mention them. And for this video I have to forewarn you that I am showing you a ton of high end stuff. Don't get upset but I know I do show a lot of drugstore as well but you guys know I'm all for the whoop drugstore. Now let's start with face products. In the last couple videos I did two declutters. I only have one more. It's going to be highlighters and setting and face powders. I didn't do blushes, bronzers, eye palettes because honestly being in this room I couldn't have all my stuff just laid out waiting for me to film that but I thought those would be a little bit boring at the same time because it was kind of like a little bit too much stuff. So I figured what I could do is just show you like an over all rundown of my entire collection afterwards just so you can see what I ended up keeping. I actually tossed a ton of lip things yesterday and I was very proud. But since cleaning out my makeup collection, which I'm so happy I did, and I have to thank my friend Dana Ann here on YouTube because she was telling me, girl, once you start doing, you're going to feel so much better. And I was telling her, it's so, it's so hard to like let go of things. I don't know what it is. Especially when you're a beauty lover, you know you love just to collect things. So the first product I want to talk about is one that I rediscovered, obviously, since cleaning out my collection, and it's the MAC Face and Body Foundation. I am in the shade a C4, and I love this because it is great for every day and I love foundations or BB creams or anything like that that's good for every day because I'm not one where I like to feel really caked on or heavy every single day. For like glam vents and every now and then I do, but for an everyday feel, if you're someone that you just wanna just balance out your face and it, you wanna look like you woke up like this. Yes, I said it. Anybody else going to the Beyonce tour? I am in Pasadena. I am so excited when that happens. Oh my gosh. I like using a beauty blender for this. You can use a brush as well. It works really well. It's super liquidy. I will say that just so you can see what it looks like. It will run down. Not too fast, but it, that's pretty runny. I mean, for a face product. Once you start blending this into the skin, say that you set it with some powder and say you maybe missed a spot or you want to retouch within the day or something like that, you can actually place this on top of the powder itself because usually you don't do liquid powder liquid. It's just like a no, no, because the textures can get weird, kind of smudgy, patchy, lots of bad things can happen. But with this product, you can actually layer it, which I love. And the more you layer, it does not look cakey. I mean, let's say that we're not going to do like eight layers, okay? Say that you do do like a second layer or like a retouch up, then this is not going to look cakey on your face. It just sinks in so beautifully and awesome for every day. This is probably one of the only face products I truly love from MAC. I'm not like the hugest MAC fan anymore just because there's so many great products out there from so many different brands, but one of them that I think that they have hands down one of the best is the face and body. Let me know below if you've used this, but this is awesome for every day. Now let's go on to cheeks. The color I'm currently wearing is from this Narcissist palette right here. And usually with NARS cheek palettes, honestly, I get very disappointed because I feel like the color is always geared towards light to medium skin tones. Never, and even the medium is a little, uh, I feel like most of them are light to medium, but it's never towards like a medium to deep kind of thing or where everyone can wear the entire palette. Now this is a brand new palette. I'm not sure the name of it. This one's a Narcissist Cheek Studio Palette. What I love is that these colors are actually wearable for someone who has medium to a medium to a little bit deeper skin tone at least. Uh, I think this is a great palette and what I love is that they have obviously the Laguna which I'm wearing as my contour and also they have a contour shade. This one is a little warm for me. I did use it in though. Um, it, these shades are a little bit tricky to work with because the tones that they have for the NARS are a little bit different. You have to literally just go on Sephora and see for yourself because they can be a little bit warm. But I did use this one and this one for my cheeks. Now this is also an awesome highlighter if you want to put this like maybe to put a little bit underneath the eyes because it's silky enough. But I love these blushes. Now the one that it scares me is this one, but this one is actually doable for me, which I was very surprised. I was pleasantly surprised because it's more of like a mauve tone. So it shows up on my face okay. Um, I love the last two, but I love that I could use at least three of the blushes. And the last one, it's okay if I can't use it. But most of the time I can't even use two of the blushes, if not one, just because all the shades are so light. So if you're someone who's been looking for a NARS palette and you are of a medium skin tone, I would definitely try this one out. I'll link it down below. 
Uh, I was just really happy because when I got it, I was like, let's see if it's even going to show up on me because I've gotten a lot of NARS cheek palettes where they just look ashy, too light, and it just doesn't work out. So I was just like, hallelujah, one works out. Also, if you're wondering, I wonder what's on her shirt. I have Stitch. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm, I don't know. I just obviously love Lilo and Stitch and then I'm so excited for Moana to come out. Ooh, can't wait. Moana, that means like ocean, so yeah. Okay, so now on to the next thing. Did you guys know that Beauty Blender came out with a nude one? I usually say Beauty Bender, but I'll stop saying that because I'm kind of over that. But Beauty Blender came out with a nude sponge. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like just on its own. Honestly, at first I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like it because it might remind me of my white sponge that's just dirty and that's what I thought it was gonna look like. But I actually really do like the shade. I did use it, so this is what it looks like when it's dirty and used, but I don't really mind because I love that when I clean this, it's gonna go back to this and it's not gonna be stained. It's more of like a visual thing and if you're kind of particular with things because I know some people just don't care but to see it like stains like say the pink one or the white one it just looks really gross and it looks like things are just lingering in there but at least when I clean I'm just like okay this is the shade it's supposed to be but yeah I love the beauty blender nothing to say about it is that I just do really love the new shade that they have so you can use foundations and concealers and stuff like that. Okay so now what's on my eyes oh my gosh so Maddie came out with a palette it is the talk of the town. I wanted to wait to show it in an actual video first. Okay, now this is the palette itself. It completely sold out so quick, but what's really great is I'll link it down below still because if you go underneath the site, you can add your email address and they're gonna let you know when it's back in stock because they are gonna bring it back. I know that it was like out of stock and then they put it back on, so that was really fast. I don't know if like something happened or I don't know, they got like a resupply that quick. It was pretty dang quick, but I'll link it down below. This palette is so beautiful. I am currently wearing it on my eyes and I love of the look so let me know if you want me to film this I find that a lot of people are kind of gearing towards this look so I don't want to be like redundant but I would love to do a tutorial showing you guys these shades are bomb I love warm shades it's just my thing a lot of people love warm shades surprisingly I got really scared of this and I have this in my crease I did it. It is such a beautiful color to just warm that up and give you a different feel. And it just really brought me out of my box because a lot of you know I'm not one to truly work with color, but this right here, I'm in love with this look. I plan on wearing this look a ton. The pigmentation of these shadows are beautiful. So let's just show you, they are so silky. This one is like a blue green, like that blue, uh, blue brown pigment from MAC. And then let's do like this reddish shade. I will say the red shade isn't as creamy as like the other shimmers, but it's just because of the formulation, but it is dang pigmented. So don't think like it's not. Like, ooh, look at that. Oh, I love how my lighting finally shows like the true pigmentation of everything because look at my highlight. Like I have so much highlight on and you can really see it glow. I think it's really catching it a little bit more obviously because it's you know I'm really lit up but look at those shades look how stunning I'll link it down below I have this shade on my lid I have this one in the crease but it blends out really nicely so don't think like it's gonna be so red like I don't know but it's it's an awesome color look at that oh so beautiful I'm so glad it's catching it what it truly looks like I love this palette, it is awesome. Hands down, an awesome just combination of colors. He did a great job picking these out. What I do love is I think his kind of logo has like a moon for Sailor Moon. So he has like all these moons in the back with all the shades. I love knowing the shades, so I love that this is there. As long as it's on the back or on the palette itself, I just love that it's not a sheet that's gonna fly away and never come back. Whenever I have the names on the sheet, I always lose that sheet. Do you guys lose that sheet? Let me know. It's one of those palettes where you're like, oh, I kind of have like those colors, but no, you, you just need this palette. It is bomb. So I'll link it down below so you can sign up so you can put your email and all of that and then they'll let you know when it comes back in stock. I need to go wash my hands before I get this all over the place. Now, I'm not one to really show nail stuff whatsoever. Last time I did a Friday with Whoops, I said that the Hello Kitty collection was just not my jam. It just chipped on me and all of that. I have good news. The nail polish is actually okay. It's just that the formula is not good enough to not use with a base and a really good top coat. So I'm used to kind of using a lot of nail polishes without a base because I never do. But I ended up trying out this base and I love it just let alone even if I didn't even put nail polish on. And this is from Formula X and this is called The Fix. 
Now I highly recommend this base, especially if you just wanna have just plain natural nails and you want your nails to look healthy. This is a very, very great, great formula. This is a five in one nail treatment. I highly recommend it because it really already strengthened my nails within the last two weeks of using this. They feel really nice and hard finally. They're starting to grow longer, which is really kind of hard for me to keep any type of length on my nails. They just seem to be really flimsy from getting acrylics and all that stuff, but this makes their nails even plain look super healthy. Now they also came out with something that I'm, I've never even thought I would truly like, honestly. This one's the Formula X Delete All. Uh, it's really one of those, <coughs> oh, I should have dabbed on that. <coughs> it's really one of those, If maybe if you wanna get it, but there's five holes in there and you can stick all five fingers and it takes off your nail polish, you just twist it and boom, you're done. It's so good. I would do, but I just don't want to because I just painted them last night, so you know, they look decent for the video, but it, you, there's five holes in there and it works so good. What's great is that you can just keep this forever and say you don't wanna just buy that formula, just buy it once, stick in your own type of nail polish remover, whichever you like, and you'll always have this tub. It's just so convenient, so you don't have to get like the cotton balls or anything like that. And plus, whenever I use cotton balls or even regular cotton pads, there's still little like hairs that just linger and when I paint my nails, I'm just like, why are you there? I really like just the convenience factor of it. It's like, er, 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 done. Now, one last favor before I move on. Now, I know I've been talking about a lot of stuff, but I these are legitimately bomb things that I've been talking about. I don't know, when I got all my stuff together, I was just like, oh, this stuff is so good. You need it. Not that you need it all. Go buy it all at once. Or, but if you want to try it, these are really good recommendations. So, now the whole thing on Sephora, if you're a Sephora VIB Rouge, and I think also a VIB, you can kind of see exclusive things that come out. So I happened to be on Sephora at the wrong time because there's too many new things out. And I happened to order some things. So now Naked came out with a bunch of correctors. Correctors is like the thing right now on Sephora. There are so many different brands that are coming out with color correctors. Now the main type of corrector that I like, I know people really like green for redness, but usually it's dark, like dark circles or uh, you know, pigmentation underneath the eyes that you wanna really just brighten up. So there's a lot of peachy tones and stuff like that. So that's what I happened to grab. And I got the Urban Decay Naked Skin. They have all the different colors in this line now. I think it's awesome that they came out with that. Pretty smart to do it in their doe foot applicator because usually a lot of them are in pots for the correctors, but this one is the peachy tone one. It's just called Peach, and I love this stuff. I'm currently not wearing it. I'm still, tr I was still trying to give it a try for something else, but it didn't work out, which I'm about to show you. But this one is awesome because the color of it is just peach enough where it's, I don't know, it's, ju it's just peach enough underneath the eyes for me. I think it is awesome because it helps brighten up and it's not too uh, much of that orangey type of tone because I found that when I use that orange type of, you know, lots of people have been using lipsticks and stuff like that. I have an orange corrector, like an orangey one, and I don't really like it on me. I noticed that if you put a little bit too much, the orange still peeks out if you're not using a full coverage concealer like you need full coverage or else it starts looking orange that's not cute but with this one it's so lightweight and a lot of you know i'm not a big time fan of their concealer because it's like a love-hate relationship sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't i'm gonna wait till summertime i believe that's when it really worked for me but once you blend it out it's so lightweight and it sets now the problem i have with correctors is it not blending out and setting and if it does set, it's setting into lines and making lines. Like the Becca concealer, the Becca corrector is, ugh, it's terrible on me personally. Some people like it, but it's just because it's so dang thick. So when it goes underneath the eyes, it's just like super tacky, never sets for me. I don't know how people work with it, uh, but this stuff, look, it's already set. It just melts into the skin, and then when you place your concealer over, it really brightens up super, super nice. So this one is actually worth it. Now, like I said, let's go on to my womp. I'll link everything down below as usual, but I wanted to try another corrector from a brand that I never buy anything from. If I ever get anything from it, it's because I'm redeeming Sephora points for like their mascara and it's Lancome. They came out with correctors too, and then here's the Miracle CC Cushion. Now, I wanted to get something that was different, like a brand that I never buy from, and I figured this is where, you know, you have to think. Like, there's a lot of drugstore things that are way better than high-end. So, say like this product, it looks beautiful. The packaging is nice. It's 
a pretty penny. Uh, you have a little mirror right here and it came with the sponge, it's over there, but when you lift it up, it has the corrector in here. It has a little protective film as well. Now here's the corrector. Doesn't it look like a nice, beautiful, bright peach color? It's not. So when I first got this, I was so excited to try this out, especially because I never try any Lancome ever, like ever. I don't have anything except like the 100 point mascaras that I redeem. Just because it is pricey and I don't really, I don't know, I just don't try the brand. So I wanted to give it a shot for a corrector and I got this one and I was like, oh wow, it's probably gonna work so well because it's Lancome, blah, 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 blah. So let me just show you, I don't even have to say anything. So beautiful peach color. Tap it in, it came with a sponge. When you place it underneath your eyes, that looks white. That's not peach, it's white. It's very white and that's what I had problems with the product because look at this beautiful peach. It doesn't look like it's going to be brightening, it's gonna be awesome underneath. I don't know, I don't see any pe peach pigmentation, honestly. I think why it looks so bad on me and so white is because I'm more of a brown biscuit, so I think this product is probably gonna be geared towards someone who's very fair, because it's one of those things where, say like you wear one lipstick and then it looks completely different on someone else, and it's because that's, because we're all different skin tones, we have different pigmentation on our lips, all of that, everything alters everything. So this product did nef de 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 de. Product definitely did not work for me. Look at it, it is super, super light, and yeah, it's just not good for underneath my eyes. I tried it again today. Uh, I just, it looked really bad, like too ghostly white, and it, it was bad. I had to just powder my regular like face powder underneath to make it look more balanced because it's just so white underneath. And even though like I let it sit underneath my eyes, it takes a while to really set for me. Like the Urban Decay set so quick and beautifully. It's awesome, look at that. It just synced right in, it's dry. Now the problem with this one is it doesn't really set for me. It reminds me of the Becca one, it doesn't set. And so once you place your concealer, it's just mix, 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 it's just mixing in. So it's not really doing anything. So yeah, unfortunately that was a womp. I was really excited to try this product and yeah, I just wanted to get that out there. I was thinking of doing like a separate video uh, talking about it, but I can do a separate video showing how I correct my under circles, under eye circles with this. Yeah, I really recommend this product. I just wanna tell you now just quickly, just because it is really good. I think this product's gonna sell out fast because I don't know, it's Urban Decay, everybody loves the concealer, so I figure that they're gonna sell out their uh, correctors really fast. So that's why I just wanted to put this in the video now instead of waiting till next week and, and then it's gonna be sold out and then you're just SOL. That is it for my February favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Also, I have a future video coming up because a ton of people have been asking me, Lizzie, have you tried the RCMA powder? Your girl got it. Also, I happened to be on the site and I found a Ben Eye and Neutral set, which is basically the same exact thing because this is a no color powder and this is a neutral set colorless powder. So same exact thing. I'm gonna be doing kind of like a battle of which one is better, which one do you need, what do you like. That will be up next week. So make sure you subscribe. I'll leave all my social media down below and I will see you guys in my next video, which will be Sunday. And it's a tutorial. Mwah.